And uh, a lot of my critics have said, and I, I guess I should tell you that I do have some critics. Uh, <laughs> some of my critics have said, well, that Behe fellow, he's a known Christian. He has been seen entering and leaving churches. <laughs> and therefore, this idea of intelligent design is a religious idea. It is not a scientific one. And then I'm letting my uh, religious convictions uh, interfere with my scientific work. Well, I appreciate their, their concern, uh, but I disagree with them. I think the conclusion of intelligent design is completely empirical. And by that I mean that it's based entirely on the physical evidence plus standard reasoning that we make, uh, that we use in, in everyday life. Uh, and as an illustration, uh, let me, uh, let me uh, show you the, the next slide here. <laughs> this, is, this is a Far Side cartoon. If, if you guys know about it. And here we've got a troop of jungle explorers here, and the lead explorer has been strung up and skewered. <laughs> and this fellow here turns to this guy here and says, that's why I never walk in front. Words to live by, <laughs> let me assure you. Um, now, everybody here looks at this cartoon, and you immediately realize that this was designed. This was not an accident. His death was intended. Now, how do you know that? Is it a religious conclusion? <laughs> oh, probably not. Probably not. No, you know it's designed because you see a number of parts interacting with each other to perform a function. Uh, something like what I mean by irreducible complexity. And it turns out that we perceive design by something, by something called the purposeful arrangement of parts. Whenever we see parts arranged to fulfill some function beyond themselves, we infer design. And that's what we have in spades uh, in biology and molecular